Greetings everybody, I am the Starving Martian and today we're going to be taking a look at C-3PO, an action figure released for the Attack of the Clones Star Wars Episode 2 movie way, way back in 2001. And if you're thinking that this looks more like the Episode 1 C-3PO than the Episode 2 C-3PO, then congratulations, you have an observant eye and a... Um, keen sense of uh, chronology because yes in episode one uh, 3PO had all these parts and wires exposed as we see here and by the time we meet him in episode two he had a uh, full uh, plating over him it was rather dull and dingy and um, not pleasant to look upon but um, but at least it kept his parts from showing but uh, the interesting thing about that is that initially the idea was to have 3PO um, still in his half-finished form when we meet him in Episode 2. And uh, him and uh, Padme were going to have this bonding moment while uh, Anakin was out, you know, slaughtering people. Um, where uh, Padme finishes um, putting his uh, uh, external parts on and they have a nice chat. And... Um, Unfortunately, that, that part was cut. I believe you can actually see parts of that on the uh, special features of the original um, release on DVD. But as far as the theatrical uh, version went, you didn't get to see that. Um, 3PO begins with his outer plating on. But, you know, that memo went out a little late for this action figure release, which still has him um, all parts exposy. Now, if you happen to have the um, official Episode 1 3PO, you'll, you might notice that one looks a lot better than this. It's, um, you know, the, it, it's not just as flat gray. It's got some metallic kind of uh, overtones and whatnot, and it's an improvement. And you would wonder why the one released a couple years later looks considerably worse. Well, there's a good reason for that, and that's has to do with his accessory. So we'll move him back a little bit and bring in 3PO's accessory, which is a storage box here. Uh, most C-3PO action figures are very light on accessories because 3PO doesn't really have accessories. He's a protocol droid. That's his thing. That's what he does. Uh, in fact, if you look at the uh, Episode 3 C-3PO on the uh, package where it would normally say, you know, um, lightsaber action or something like that, it says in big bold letters, probably with an exclamation point, protocol droid <laughs> because that's all that they can say about him um but uh, this guy comes with a storage locker and inside the storage locker are all his extra bits and pieces so you could uh dress him up and take him out and we're gonna do that for you so uh, he's got all his extra little casing pieces and um when you're uh, decking him out, the first thing you're going to want to do is add this little headpiece, this faceplate. Because otherwise, um, the, the chest piece, um, will prevent it from going on straight. So, it's just going to slide right over his head there. Push it in, and there you go. He's already looking a bit more like himself. Alright, so our, uh chest pieces next as you can tell this is a bit uh dinged up a bit uh you know blaster damaged or something or just old and rusty uh one thing i do want to notice before we got any further though is that um the back side of this guy um already has his um uh casing on so it is kind of odd he's like only half unfinished like if you lift his arm up you can clearly see he's got his uh, panels on right there. But uh, but from the front, you know, he does look um, completely undone. So we're going to take this chest piece. And you see there's a hole in 3PO's chest right there. There's going to be a little tab in the chest piece. And that'll snap right in. And um, you're going to want to kind of work it under his chin like you're giving him a lobster bib or something and 
and uh, that'll press right into place. All right, so 3 is looking a little bit more like himself. Now we're going to take, um, let's see, we could do his arms next. So here's an arm covering. And again, a hole right there. Tab inside the arm casing. And there you have it. Now here's his other arm. It's actually a bit darker than um, the casing he actually has in the movie. And the interesting thing, this is almost <laughs> like his red arm in The Force Awakens. So, there you go. Difficult to see the future, as always in motion. And then his leg coverings will come in um, two pieces, upper and lower leg. And again, you just press them right in. You can tell the difference between the upper and the lower leg, by the way, by the coloring. Um, I'm sorry, the, the lower leg parts are identical. If you want to know which side to put them in, you go by the coloring. So um, this one here is a lighter color, whereas the one on the other side will be the darker color to match his uh, foot. So, I'm going to push this into place. Come on, 3PO. There we are. And then... Oh, shin guard. And there we have it. Here is C-3PO with all of his parts in place. This one arm is bothering me today. Get in there. Yeah, that's the one one negative about this figure, is that um, they the parts do snap in pretty well, but um, sometimes they do also want to pop back loose. But you know, you could just say, "Hey, is a a patched together protocol droid with a cheap casing, and uh, that's just how it's going to run for him." So, um, you know, I, I do like this guy. I think um, there's some detailing on his back. You can see he's still got the wires poking through there. So, um, see, I think that the concept for him is really good. I think the execution of it is as good as you're going to get on a figure of this size. Um, if you prefer a Episode 2 C-3PO that... Um, you know, doesn't look as uh, a little bit extra bulky. Um, they did make one in a deluxe set that comes with a battle droid, and you can switch their heads around. Um, so that might be the way to go for you. Uh, as far as size goes, he's your average Star Wars three and a half inch size. Um, here he is, shown next to a um, Terminator endoskeleton of the same. <laughs> Uh, size class and uh, they look pretty good together and uh, being in that size class here's something we do only on this channel because we're funny like that but um, he will fit in the alpha pod that comes with the planet of the apes Pericles figure Get in there. so there you go you can have um, 3PO flying around in that And uh, this is not a, really a fair comparison because being a larger figure, it's going to have a lot more detailing. But here he is with the 12-inch Episode 1 electronic talking C-3PO. And again, it's pretty much bring your child to work day. And this, of course, is the backer board he originally came on. Just your standard Episode 2 backer board. And on the back of the backer board, you can see the uh, figure here, some others in the line. He was uh, figure number four in uh, collection number one. 
And there he is with his trusty parts. And it even gives him a little biography, just in case somehow you're watching Star Wars and don't know who the 3PO is. It says, built but left unfinished by Anakin Skywalker ten years earlier. C-3PO longs to be fully assembled. Yeah, don't we all? While living with Clegg Lars and his family on a moisture farm near Mos Eisley on the planet Tatooine, C-3PO finally receives his first outer casing when he is visited by Anakin and Padme. So that there... You know, if you're watching the movie, you'll say, well, no, that's not how it went. But as I explained, that's how it was originally meant to go. So, um, so yeah, so that's, uh, episode 2, C-3PO. Now, this guy's pretty darn cheap. I picked him up off of, um, eBay. You can find him on eBay. You can find him on Amazon. Uh, he'll cost you about, I don't know, five bucks, six bucks after shipping. Uh, very inexpensive very easy to find as most of the figures from that line are so if this sort of thing is up your alley go right ahead and grab one it's not going to cost you much and like i said he is one of the few 3po figures to include an accessory his storage locker yay storage locker of course he never actually has a storage locker in the movie and uh here's a morbid thought just from this uh size comparison what if that's like a coffin for r2d2 <laughs> what if 3po is secretly plotting r2's downfall i know or what if that's just the last little shred of my decency and um uh sanity slipping out of my left ear i don't know anymore oh well this has been the starving martian everybody we will catch up with you next time until then as i always say keep watching the skies later